Hello and welcome to the Meta YouTube channel and to this video on Obsidian.md video note taking process and timestamping, where I'll show you to the best of my ability how I have utilized auto hotkey to automate some of the functionality of what I previously did manually in terms of processing some of the media that I was using in my Obsidian Vault. How I processed my information has now been automated because of the script that I made in AutoHotkey. So I'll just show my process here and my hope is that this will elicit some inspiration and some creativity on your part to be able to see how I go about these things and how you can do as well. And perhaps I'm able to share this script with you if you start using AutoHotkey as well. So as I've talked about in the past in my philosophy videos, my two previous videos, this stage of media to processing is what we want to automate to the best of our ability because what you want to be spending your time on is reflecting and integrating the information of what is said in YouTube videos or any other kind of media. So to the best of your degree, how you automate these two stages of media to processing that media gives you more time to do what's valuable. And um, through auto hotkey, which is a very useful way of doing it, that gives you better understanding and more insight and more clarity, all of the th kinds of things that you would want and desire in terms of your obsidian vault and knowledge processing. So Let's say I wanted to do this now. Let's say I want to bring up a, a video and uh, I'll just split uh, my browser to the left and Obsidian to the right. And I bring up my master menu script, which is just a way to give me the functionality on the fly wherever I am. Or I can actually bring up the actual script from that button, or I can actually bring up that script from the quick switcher of Obsidian. Oh, sorry, uh, time stamping, there we go. Uh, what I would do first of all is that I would watch the video, I would find something interesting. There would be some point at which I thought that this video would elicit a reason to actually make a reflective note about it. And uh, whenever I get to that point, I open up the command palette, I bring up my templater plugin, I create a new note from template, and I bring up my video notes template and I press enter. This gives me the ability to simply fill into this video notes naming scheme metadata field in the YAML metadata of this template of this video notes reflections template to take the video title and the channel of the video. And that is democracy at work, curing capitalism, minus all of the special characters that Obsidian and Windows doesn't allow in its file explorer. So I'll just cut this and I'll put it into the original video title and I'll cut this channel and put it into the channel. And that gives me the ability to simply take all of uh, this between the brackets and for some reason that uh, note just uh, disappeared. So I'll just uh, post it into here again because this happened to me last time as well. There we go. Copy this. Untitled. There we go. And now let's say I want to reflect about something he said at 2033 in his video. So what I would do in the past is that I would just copy this copy the video link with the current uh, play time, the header, the 2033 time. I would paste that in and I will open my template room modal and I would paste my Magnus Ruto networks and I would do my reflections. But this is very slow and tedious because I have to move my mouse all the time and I don't want to do that. I want to focus on what is important. So what I did is that I created the time stamping functionality here in auto hotkey. I press this and it gives me this context menu, this graphical user interface, very simple one, but nonetheless shows that you should have your obsi uh, obsidian on the right side and your YouTube on the left side and that you should press control 
Alt N in order to timestamp. And what that does, I'll show you, I'll do it once and I'll explain all the, the functionality. So if I watch this video and let's say uh, he says something interesting, I don't know if it's allowed to actually have audio on these videos, but let's just bring something up like that. I don't know if you can hear it, but let's go. He says something interesting. Okay, Control Alt N. That stops the video, copies, and does all of the things automatically. Now I can write my reflections without any worry. And then I'll press enter. That will also create a new line and it will resume the video automatically for me. Then I can do my Control Alt N once more. And it will just give me the ability to not move the mouse at all. Seeing as I am working on my laptop most of the time, that gives me much more freedom of thought because I don't have to move my mouse all the time. Enter. Have a, oh sorry, <laughs> that was my accident. I actually pressed before I was supposed to press. You have to be patient for the script to actually does what it does. So be patient. It's a virtue green. There you go. That's basically it. You know, it's a very useful functionality and it gives you the ability to just press all of these and take you right back to where the reflection was at the time of the video. So very useful functionality, I, I think. So I hope that that has proved itself useful and that what I've talked about in this video was beneficial and helpful. And that if you have any questions that you please leave them in the comment section below. With that being said, thank you for tuning into this video on Obsidian and I wish you all the best. Enjoy the rest of your day and take care. Magnus signing off.